Okay, thank you Sandro, thank you everyone. Uh, I will swap a little bit uh, the topics uh, from uh, invasive uh, mammals to invasive insect species and I will talk on uh, uh, Vespa velutina, the Asian hornet. Vespa velutina is uh, an hornet native of Southeast Asia, the yellow area highlighted in this map and that uh, started to colonize uh, other countries, started to colonize uh, South Korea, Japan uh, and Europe, uh, where it became invasive. Vespa velutina was accidentally introduced in France in 2004 uh, in the area near Bordeaux and uh, uh, in just 10 years rapidly uh, colonized nearly the uh, whole France and other European countries. In recent years, uh, the species was spotted also in the uh, uh, United Kingdom, Belgium and Netherlands, for example. If you look uh, to the map, uh, to the predictive map on the left, uh, that was built in 2011 based on climatic data, uh, you could see that the actual distribution is very similar to uh, the predict one. Vespa velutina uh, started to arrive in Italy in 2012 and started to colonize mainly the uh, western part of Liguria region and uh, the southern part of uh, Piedmont region. The species colonized uh, the Ligurian part of uh, uh, the Liguria regions by spreading mainly along the coastline and uh, along the uh, river beds. One problem associated with Vespa velutina is uh, uh, the, um, the diffusion modalities. Vespa velutina could spread by natural diffusion or by passive transport of inseminated queens. Uh, founder queens hibernate in different typologies of materials. Founder queens hibernate in, uh, uh, in the soil, in uh, wood cavities, in uh, straw, so uh, the human transportation of this material could allow uh, the movement of Vespa velutina uh, of many kilometers from the colonized area. And this is the case uh, for uh, uh, the Veneto uh, reports and for the Tuscany reports, for example. What are the impacts associated by, uh, with Vespa velutina diffusion? Uh, Vespa velutina preys honeybees and preys wild bees, so it, it creates uh, uh, economic impact on uh, beekeeping and uh, impact on biodiversity and uh, uh, it potentially could create impact on pollination services associated with the uh, wild bees and honeybees activity. Moreover, uh, the species create nests and colonies of great sizes uh, often located in uh, urban areas and uh, this could create alarm and anxiety states in uh, citizens of course. So for these reasons Vespa velutina has been included in uh, the first list of uh, invasive alien species of union concern associated to the EU regulation. To contain the spread of Vespa velutina uh, in 2015 started an European life project Livestock Vespa uh, with the main aim to contain uh, the population, the, the special containment of, of Vespa velutina in Italy and uh, to establish an early warning and rapid response system for the species. The, um, action, the actions were uh, uh, performed mainly in project areas, so mainly in Piedmont and Liguria region. Uh, however, some actions uh, are also foresee foreseen for other Italian regions. The, uh, to establish an early warning and rapid response system for uh, an invasive alien species is of course very important to identify the subject and the people that could be involved in, uh, in the monitoring network. Uh, so for Vespa Velutina, the beekeepers and the beekeepers association are uh, the uh, mainly sta stakeholders that should be involved. They have, uh, uh, because they have the uh, higher probability to get in touch uh, with, uh, with the species because uh, uh, of the behavior predation of, of Vespa velutina that preys honeybees in apiaries. 
Many other people uh, may be involved, uh, staff of the parks, hunters, firefighters, uh, civil defense teams, that could, uh, uh, people that could uh, receive reports of nest or uh, just uh, see nest on the trees where uh, uh, going in, uh, walking in the environment. And uh, of, of course, potentially all, uh, all citizens. I've just reported some numbers for, uh, for Italy. In Italy, there are 50, uh, nearly 50,000 beekeepers uh, with 98,000 of apiaries and uh, eight uh, national uh, uh, and 106 uh, regional uh, and local uh, beekeepers associations. Uh, of course, these are uh, the stakeholders that should uh, be involved in an uh, uh, early warning and rapid response system on a large area. And just uh, to uh, visualize how uh, there are, they are important, I just displaced 98,000 random points in the Italian boundaries to simulate uh, the 98,000 acres that uh, are present in Italy. If, you, if we look in details, uh, this is a, a, in, an impressive cover of the, of the ter Italian territory. And uh, in this example, uh, the mean distance between each point uh, is uh, eight uh, unders, nearly, nearly just uh, eight unders, 900 meters. And this is uh, a, a really dense uh, network. Of course, this is a simplification because are uh, random points. However, veterinary services have uh, the exact position of every apiary and uh, uh, know uh, exactly the name of the bird of the beekeeper. So, it's not so difficult to create uh, uh, an extensive, uh, a wide early warning system for these species. How uh, the beekeepers should be involved? They should be involved by report the presence of hornets in apiaries, by the reports the presence of nests, and by placing monitor bottle traps for hornets. Uh, these, these are normal activities that beekeepers already are doing uh, in Italy and so uh, it's now an extra effort for the beekeepers. Uh, however, we should pay attention to uh, the false records. Uh, you could see that uh, false records could uh, arrive to 76% of all the received records. This is a big, uh, uh, a big value. So what to do next, uh, what to do uh, after the detection of adults and after the detection of nest of Vespa velutina? Well, uh, after the detection of adults, it's very important to find the position of the nest. So uh, to remove th uh, the nest before uh, the starting of the reproductive period of the species that starts in September. Uh, the last Vespa project has uh, uh, to solve this problem uh, developed an harmonic radar able to track uh, the hornets uh, when flying back to their nest. This, uh, in this system, we uh, track the hornets, we place uh, a little tag of 19 milligrams on the thorax of the hornet, uh, and we release them. Uh, here I place a, a little video I will show you after. Uh, the hornets are able to fly without any problem. They are able to catch uh, uh, honeybees uh, in front of the, of the eyes and they are able to, uh, with the tag, to uh, bring honey, uh, the honeybees back to the colonies. Uh, and we saw that uh, target hornet, uh, we saw uh, that target hornet could maintain the tag up to 10 days. And this uh, is the result of the, uh, a monitoring uh, session. Uh, we uh, catch hornets in the apiary, the yellow dot, release them, and uh, the, blo the blue dot indicates the position uh, of the radar, and uh, the red dot the position of two nests that have been discovered with the harmonic radar. If you see, the tracks uh, of the hornets go in direction from the apiaries, to the two nests. And here you, you could see the target hornet on, uh, on top of a uh, nest surface. After the detection of the nest, it's very important to uh, remove them before the starting period 
of the reproductive period of the species. So we train uh, people to remove uh, the nest in safety. Uh, we create collaboration with civil defense team. We create a collaboration <coughs> with uh, firefighters teams to maintain uh, the strategy after the end of the project. And uh, <coughs> this, uh, uh, these are the, some first preliminary results uh, of the containment strategy. Uh, the, if you see on, the, on this image, uh, the number of the nests increased in a, an exponential way from 2013 up to 2016. Um, we start control activities with the livestock Vespa destroyer teams in 2016, and uh, this year we recorded a lesser number of nests than the year before. These are preliminary results. It should uh, we should look after uh, many years of control activities, but uh, it's of course encouraging. And this is this is the expansion in in Liguria. We. Uh, recorded a, a lesser colonized, new colonized area than the year before. So uh, it is important to uh, continue the uh, control strategy for the species. It, it is very important to um, uh, establish an early warning and rapid response system at least in uh, nearby regions. And uh, uh, the harmonic radar could dramatically uh, change the scenario uh, in the new invaded area where the nest could be uh, easily detected and removed. So I, uh, I want to also uh, to show you more a little video. This is a tagged hornet that uh, fly uh, in front of the beehive. This is uh, a typical uh, uh, characteristic, predation characteristic of Vespa velutina that fly with the face uh, uh, not uh, looking uh, to the beehive but looking to the foraging bees that are returning back to the, uh, to the hive. Okay. Okay, thank you for the attention. Because, uh, um, well, uh, Vespa velutina has evolved in, uh, in Asia um, with um, um, Apis cerana. Apis cerana has uh, um, um, a defense behavior against Vespa velutina. Uh, so uh, if Vespa velutina in, in Asia go to catch uh, the, 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 uh, the bees on the hive, Apis cerana um, well, uh, create a heat ball. Uh, uh, how you say? Uh, you create a ball around the hornet, uh, starting to uh, increase the temperature with uh, the wings and, and kill the hornets. Here, in um, so uh, they um, they catch hornets. Face, uh, they, they catch. Uh, honeybees, uh, they are returning back to the hives, so they, are not, they have not uh, this problem of being killed. And this behavior uh, is maintained also here in, uh, in the invaded area.
Jews, for instance. How do you deal with that in, in Italy? Okay, uh, we, sta uh, we uh, last year started uh, experimentation on uh, uh, trapping hornets for this reason. Um, we uh, trapped uh, uh, massive trapped hornets in uh, some areas with uh, uh, 50 bottle traps uh, in, uh, in an area of, uh, uh, of uh, one, uh, one hectare in, in a small area. And uh, uh, we saw that using beer, uh, we do not catch uh, honeybees and we do not catch uh, uh, wild bees at all. We just catch hornets and wasps. And uh, uh, the intensive spring queen trappings uh, produce a reduction of the number of nests that will create the, uh, the, the, the species will create the uh, following year and a reduction of the damage to uh, the, the beekeepers. So the solution is beer? <laughs> well, the yes. great uh, result. Of course. Because uh, we, um, uh, we massive tag many hornets and uh, we test, uh, we uh, look in the front uh, of the nest and uh, we uh, saw tagged hornets up to 10 days. Um, the, uh, each individual don't live uh, uh, so long, so uh, each hornet live uh, uh, outside the nest uh, up to 30 days. Uh, so, okay. <laughs>